Hi everybody, it's Christy with Kidding Around Yoga, and I'm so glad you decided to join me today for another yoga adventure. Today, we're gonna to talk about the life cycle of a pumpkin. Pumpkins start out as a tiny, tiny little pumpkin seed. So let's do pumpkin seed pose, or child's pose. So sit back on your heels, then round forward and make yourself very small like a tiny pumpkin seed. Now pretty soon that pumpkin seed will start to grow. What does a seed need to grow? It needs a little bit of water and a little bit of sunshine. So let's start raining on our little pumpkin seed. First, let's create a little small amount of rain. Now let's create a lot of rain. And then let's add some sunshine so that seed can start to grow. Now the seed will sprout and we'll start to see vines coming out. So let's make a vine coming out of our seed. So reach one arm forward and the other leg back. Now there's lots of pumpkins that will grow on the vines. So let's do a vine on the other side. So reach the opposite arm forward, opposite leg back and create the vine. Now from the vine pretty soon, we'll start to see some yellow blossoms or little yellow flowers. So let's do flower pose. Bring your feet together, take your hands, scoop them under your knees and then see if you can balance in flower pose. Now right beneath that little yellow flower, we'll start to see a tiny little green bulb and that tiny green bulb becomes a little small green pumpkin. So make yourself into a tight little ball into a little green pumpkin. Now that pumpkin will grow and grow and grow and grow and pretty soon it will become a great big orange pumpkin. Now that orange pumpkin we can take home and we can even carve it and put a jack-o'-lantern face on our pumpkin. So the first thing we'll need to do is scoop the seeds out of that pumpkin. So let's put our feet together like this and let's reach in and scoop out the seeds, scoop out the seeds and we'll save them for later because we might wanna roast them and eat them later. Alrighty, now once we've done that, we can carve a face into our jack-o'-lantern. What sort of face are you gonna carve? Go ahead and show me your jack-o'-lantern face. Mine's gonna be happy. Now, we can put a candle inside our jack-o'-lantern to make it grow. So let's do candle pose. Lay on your back, bring your feet up into the air. Now, you can point your toes or you can, you can flex and point your toes and make your candle flicker a little bit. Very good. Now, that pumpkin can go right outside on our porch so that anybody that comes by can see our beautiful jack-o'-lantern. So, don't forget to blow out the candle when you go inside. Whew. Thank you for joining me for this pumpkin yoga adventure. Namaste.